Hi, I'm Rick Arthur. I manage the Advanced Computing Lab at GE Global Research. I hope you enjoyed what you just saw. We'd like to show you a little bit of behind the scenes in the making of it. My lab does a lot of work with helping GE with its various computing problems. We also work with Lockheed Martin, which does some military training, which is actually how Ozzy and Steve were able to put uh, some of the ideas together uh, that you just saw. We're going to go inside and uh, let them talk to you a little bit more about the technology. Thank you. Hi, I'm, my name's Ossie Schnorr. I'm uh, a principal engineer here at uh, GRD and, and I've been here about 22 years, and I think this is probably one of the best projects I've ever worked on. My name is uh, Steve Zanilovich, and I'm a uh, computer engineer in the Advanced Computing Lab here at the GE Global Research Center. Uh, I primarily work on uh, medical imaging and digital pathology and uh, sundry other things uh, related to high performance computing. Um, I also have an outside interest in video games, 3D graphics, and just computer programming in general, as evidenced by the uh, video game engine that we put together for LaserCats. And again, the LaserCats is fully functional, it, it does work. Um, so anytime anybody wants to come up and play it and give it a shot, we'd be happy to uh, have you. So I see here we have two of the laser cat guns. Can you talk to us about how you designed these? Yeah, um, we originally, when we, we came up with the original idea, we figured that we'd use an infrared laser so that you couldn't see the laser beam. And then we realized that half the fun's actually seeing the laser. So we went with a, a green laser pointer, just a green laser pointer, stuck inside of a, of a, of a cat attached to a toy gun, um, as you can see. We taped down the uh, we taped down the trigger for the, the laser pointer. We drilled a hole in here so that we could get access to the battery. We tied the wires that go from the battery to the switch inside of the of the toy gun, and mounted in there. Not really care. We don't really care about how well it's mounted in there because uh, it's going to be stuck inside of a cat. <laughs> and so we can load the cat by uh, uh, placing the laser inside of it. Uh, making sure that you can see the laser out of the end, and that's pretty much it. So there you have a laser, uh, a laser cat. In order to do the head tracking, um, we're actually leveraging some work done by Johnny Lee at uh, the Carnegie Mellon University, where he uh, flipped around a Wii Mote. So the Wii Mote normally works by having a sensor bar on top of your TV, and have the Wii Mote, and as you move it around, it tracks the position of the Wii Mote in uh, three dimensions. So instead, you flip that around and you put the sensor bar on your head. So we have a little uh, pair of safety glasses here with uh, some uh, IR LEDs stuck in these flashlights. So when you put them on, uh, you become the sensor bar and it knows uh, where you are in three space. So as I move around uh, in the real world, the Wiimote is tracking me. And as if you can see the, uh, the screen, as I move around, I actually move the camera position in the game world. And as you move in, you kind of get more to see. And so it's. It's like, a, like you're looking at a virtual window in the game world. So as I move around out in here, it moves around you in the game. The enemies actually fire back at you. So as you move, uh, you can actually avoid and dodge bullets. So it kind of makes it a little bit more immersive if you actually have to move out of the way in order to not get hit.